Well, if you love looking at the stars, you might be following the story of a couple in Yamhill County who have a giant blue telescope. It was stolen and then returned a few months ago. Now they hope to build a multi-million dollar observatory. Galen Etlin explains. Forrest Babcock has his own mini observatory in rural Yamhill County with telescopes he has worked on for almost 50 years. The light comes in, bounces off the main mirror up to a secondary. He knows all about the technology and space. You know, the thing about science is that it's like magic. Only it's real. He and his wife, Janet Zelke, have traveled the county with this 15-foot, 800-pound telescope called Big Blue. They bring it to wineries, empty lots, and schools, giving people a window to worlds beyond. This is the design for the new Carleton Observatory. Now their bigger dream of a science center, years in the making, is coming together. It finally feels like... There's no turning back. This is going to happen. They're collaborating with the Evergreen Space Museum in McMinnville, home of the Spruce Goose. They've secured land next door for a new $10 million building. Planetarium, an observatory, a lecture hall, a beautiful stargazing plaza. No pun intended, but all the stars aligned. Steve Scott is interim director at Evergreen. What spoke to you about the Carleton Observatory? Their passion is contagious, and their passion is going to get this thing done. The project is ambitious, but backed by big names. Evergreen was recently yeah. bought by the Stoller family behind Oregon's famous wine, and Dangermond Keen Architecture in Portland designed the observatory concept pro bono. Their specialty is designing science centers. Linfield College is also donating telescopes from its former astronomy department. One is from 1888 found tucked away in storage for decades. That's and wild. That's like finding it, treasure. It is, it, is like, it is like a national treasure. It's a local treasure for sure. The best planetary imaging that you can get. I, I'm really excited about how that's going to look. The big project will take a couple years of fundraising and grant writing, then another year of construction. Create something that not only serves Yamhill County, but will serve the entire region. And by this June, Janet and Forrest plan to set up a workshop exhibit inside the Evergreen Space Museum for people to watch their work on telescopes and to get a preview of what's to come. What about space is special to people? What speaks to you about this? It can spark such imagination and creativity and wonder and romance. Add in some inspiration. What else could be greater than that? And sky's the limit. Galen Etlin. KGW News.